Definitely, I would agree with that here as we're going to be jumping back into gameplay. You know, speaking on the topic of Toy Soldier, we spected it in that last round. We saw him miss roll. You know, his movement is so good. We haven't seen that yet so far in this match. I've seen it in this tournament. He's been playing out of his mind here. But, you know, like you said, expect Toy Soldier to step it up big time on Canals. They need to. But, like we did say, Canals, Fury's best map, said it from Yogurt himself. We're going to jump back into gameplay here for you guys on board a Toy Soldier himself. Let's see if he can pick it up right now and give the momentum his team needs. He's going to be grabbing Sniper for his team here. And was not aware that Toy was a sniper. Excels usually is the one that picks that up. Could have been this because of shot spawns. There. It's going to be Fury that's going to get mid bridge control. Keep in mind, Yogurt is still in the connector, kind of creeping, kind of lurking. Meanwhile, Praise calls a push down low, sees a good opportunity, oh. and he's going to down Dispensa. That gives them a four versus three advantage. Meanwhile, underneath the mid bridge, Toy Soldiers actually take out one. Excels takes out Kenny, and it's actually going to be Fury, but Ooh. Praise is going to take out one on Excels. Huge play right there. That leads them to two versus two, Arctic. Great play by oh. Praise right there. Just missing that snipe. Toy Soldier trying to move up. And there's that Toy Soldier movement, trying to get himself in a good position here. Praised with a huge play right there. I'm not sure if I think that was Excels. It was Excels that took the one versus one and got baited, giving Praised and Fury a chance in this first round. I gotta say, this is defining here. Nade's gonna go out here, and they are gonna be able to call that out and back out. Good job by Vex, realizing they're in a bad situation right there. Fury's gonna rotate low. Expect them to go and grab this Torque Bow. I oh, know they already have the Torque Bow. I apologize. Praised with the Torque Bow in his possession. Fran with the sniper. It's be interesting to see how they they play this in two v two. I've not seen Toy Soldier grab the snipe on this map before, so uh, you know we know franchise has an excellent snipe. I'm not quite sure if this is a one to one in uh, skill level in terms of uh, the snipers going That's on. True. So we'll see. Franchise knows a lot of angles on canals. I'm hoping that Toy Soldier knows. Quite a few. As, as many. As many. Of course, franchise guys, those of you guys that are just tuning in. Ooh, look at Praise trying to get the board, the, the, the bank torque bow off the wall there. Not going to connect. A for effort. The franchise guys played Gears War 1 professionally. He placed third place in the MLG National Championship yep. uh, in 2000, 2008 for Gears War 1. That was um, myself, franchise monster, and baby rage. So he has been playing these maps for a very, very long time. You can guarantee he knows every inch of every angle that exists on this map. Matter of fact, Speaking of great shots, there was a snipe shot that he got before anyone <laughs> could even see the person's head uh, in that synergy match. So, and just talking about angles, he, he knows what he's doing. Look up at there. Praise doing a great job. Gets Not many players can do that in one versus two. Wow. He's barely been touched. He's putting in so much work right now. Meanwhile, Franchise needs to help him out here. He's going to pistol. Franchise downs one. Praise in a one versus two. He's going to take it off. And just like that, <laughs> they don't even need to be together holding hand they could be separated isolated and still they are one unbelievable team teamwork right there from the duo praise and franchise wow fury goes up one to zero that is heartbreaking if you are vexed as they need moment a momentum shift right now that was a two versus three thanks to praise being very very clutch praise great bait there bait and switch he forced both of them out into the water so um franchise could hop up on that bridge and get the cross there Oh, Excels finally pick up the sniper. He says, Toy, nice try. I'm going to put that one in my hands here. He's going to take out one. Praise is out. That is a huge loss for Vex. Or sorry, for Fury. Meanwhile, Kenny's looking for a flank on mid-bridge. He's actually spotting an opportunity to push low side. He's going to back Ooh. A and makes the one shot. Great job by Kenny. He's going to get his health back. Big fight on mid-bridge here. This is defining. Toy takes out one. He's not done yet. And Kenny is going to get sniped down by oh. Excels. Fran. Oh, I think it was Fran. Franchise. Yogurt going for the melee again. He's going to miss that one. And all up to Franchise here. Let's hop on board with Fran. He's four red. That's going to be it. Vex is going to take their first round here on Canals. Oh, man. Franchise with that snipe hit Kenny. And I think Toy Soldier is pretty hurt right there. So that was a pretty big mistake on Franchise's part, sniping down Kenny. Kenny could have taken that. That could have gone either way. You're right. You know, Kenny with a huge back A on left hand down low. I think that was against Dispensa. And it looked like Kenny was going to keep on rolling on mid-bridge. Fran with the miss snipe. We are now tied one to one here. Toy Soldier going low side. So once again, Toy not grabbing the sniper for his team. He sees an opportunity to push mid. Is he going to take it? Throws the smoke first just to be safe, and Toy Soldier now has control of mid-bridge. Meanwhile, high side. Scale made him a fight up top. Smokes are going to go out for both teams. If XLs grab these nades, they... Oh, yeah, they're already they're back now. Nice if he grabs those nades... And Yogurt and crew have no idea Francis. that they rotated out. They have no idea. Franchise with the snipe. Look at the rotation here from Fury. I love the gameplay. Throwing the smoke, and rather than pushing, which is what you'd expect them to do, they're going to rotate low side, grab Torque, and it's going to pay off here as Praise putting in good shots. In a one versus one. Look how well he's playing this. I love his movement. Gets Meanwhile. down there. Oh, two piece. <laughs> Yogurt. <laughs> Disrespect. There you go. Two versus three. They need to take this. This is their best opportunity to clutch here. Vex is going to back out. 
I guarantee that's Dispensa letting him know, hey, this is not our fight. Kenny almost connects for a headshot there, misses Ooh. that shot as well. That would have been a great opportunity, but instead, they're going to reset two versus three fight here. And Arctic, we have seen phenomenal gameplay so far. Yes. Especially from Praise on that fight, the two versus two with Franchise. The way he just baited, baited and switched with Franchise, waited for his support, knew exactly where his teammate was on the map, and baited them perfectly. That was such a, a great play from Praise, and I don't know if you viewers out there recognize how well Praise positioned himself. Now he tried to do the same thing this this particular round and ended up getting down, but uh, the fact that he drew that out that long was pretty impressive. But uh, I think he was trying to uh, bring back some of the glory from that first round. Here you go, Kenny, utilizing the old school Gears 1 angle. For those of you guys new to Gears War that don't know that angle, he actually can't get hit there, but he can s scope in and see the entire map with a mini scope, not with the full scope. That's one of those he has Franchise to teach him the ways. Yeah, <laughs> and Franchise had Predator to get headshotted by many times to learn from. Predator, of course, was the first one to really popularize that spot back in Gears 1. Predator of the Insanes, of course. Keep mind, two versus three, so Vex does have the advantage here. They're just waiting to gather grenades, gather everything that they can to possibly give them an advantage in this fight. Right, and this is a situation when you get it, especially when you have numbers, but when you grab those nades, uh, and try to flush the other team out. Now, Kenny is probably going to be really conscious of those nades and trying to get a snipe headshot, if he can, uh, when possible. So I, I, I wouldn't be Whoa! Yogurt. I'm not sure what snipe. that angle was. Soto is in position on the stairs. I'm not sure how Yogurt got that angle. And Dispensa is going to down him, and that is it. Vex is finally heating up here in map three. All right, 2-1 in favor of Vex right now. Again, on what uh, Yogurt told you was... Fury's best You're map. Right. Yep. So if Fury loses this map, what's that going to do to them mentally? That is true. I, I gotta say, I mean, it'd be tough to do, but they're in a good spot still, Arctic. You know, I agree. they're up two. To, they're up two to zero right now. They lose this map. Yes, it's it's a little bit heartbreaking, but you're still in a good spot to secure this win. Old Bones coming up next. I guarantee Fury's gonna have some good strategies on that map. So we will see. But we might not even get there, guys. This map is far but over. Fury's gonna actually fight and contest mid bridge here. Big fight about to go down in mid. Crazy gonna take out one with his help with the help from Franchise, his duo. Toy Soldier getting taken out by Praise. That's the matchup you want to see over and over again. Toy Soldier versus Praise. Who's going to win that fight? Praise coming out on top right there. Top on board with Excels. Reza Sniper for Vex. He's been going off with it this entire tournament and the entire longevity of Gears Ultimate Edition, to be honest. We've seen some great plays from Excels in the ESL preseason cups. He needs to make a huge play right here. Staying nice and patient with that sniper. That's all you can do at times, especially in a stalemate situation like this. It looks like he's trying to watch both the snipe and the Perhaps. nades. Seems a good angle for that. Oh, Fran, I think Fran just picked up that snipe ammo. Smoke on mid. Mid. He knows they're what they're going to be going for. He uh, actually yep, decides yep. to give up that fight on that shot. I'm not sure if nades are even up yet, to be honest. Praise staying nice and sneaky. In the connector. Praise, of course. Nash or Lancer. It's really all he needs. It's one of those really solid players. Doesn't need a power weapon in his hands. His power weapon is that shotgun. So he can uh, aggressively push, which he's done multiple times, taking that bridge. He has the nades right now. So uh, look for Praise to throw those nades and then Fury to uh, set up a push around those nades, try to flush Vex out. Praise having some fun with his Lancer. Actives are off, guys, so he's not getting actives. <clears throat> having a good time, waiting for the play to come, and you can, you can guarantee, guys, we talk about this a lot in the ESL, pre ESL preseason cup. Their push is high side with those frag grenades right now. Are yep. How do they want to execute that? So, uh, Praise is going to have to, again, lead with those nades. He's probably going to want to throw one down the, the hallway at the end of that cinder block, and another one towards the nades. Now, if they're playing those steps, he might try to bounce one off that pillar and uh, knock it down on the steps, but basically he wants to flush them out as much as possible so they can take the map, and they might actually keep someone on mid-bridge in case they rotate back towards that way. That way can, they can uh, try to get some angles. We're going to have to use uh, XLs, and I think Yogurt is still alive. Tor Soldier is the one that got taken out first. Yep. Uh, so I think those two are going to try to snipe. Yogurt Dispenza with that one headshot. Dispensa has a sniper headshot. as well, actually. It's actually Dispensa. Is it Dispensa? Okay. Yep, and XLs with the sniper in their hands. A minute and 30 seconds left, guys. Of course, for those of you guys thinking it might stalemate, this round will most likely not stalemate. Fury is going to play for a win this round. They will not let this stalemate. All right, so Unless XLs. Unless something, something happens and they are able to neutralize. Right. XLs looking at those nades now. Again, I think the nades are up. So who's that on mid-bridge for Fury? I'm not sure. No one. That, was, was, that so, Kenny? It was Kenny? It was Kenny. Here's the push from Praise. The top on board with Praise here. See what type of grenades he wants to throw. Looks like it's going to be coming. Minute left. They need to organize this soon. Otherwise, Vex might be able to steal a stalemate here. And there it is. Nade from Praise. Beautiful. Nade oh, franchise. franchise. Meanwhile, he's going to connect for a headshot. That is huge. 
And I think his teammate almost, I think, got someone full red on the bottom of the stairs there as well. They are backing out, trying to run. The pistols come out. The team fire from Fury. Meanwhile, Franchise is going to lock them down. They have nowhere to go. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Fury is going to take this round and tie up 2-2. Two two. That is exactly what you want to do there. That was textbook. Franchise actually popped that off, though, with the, the headshot. Somebody was peeking. Was it XLs was Excels. peeking? Got domed by Franchise. And again, he's going to school you on this map. If you haven't played it before, you need to watch out because Franchise is deadly with that sniper. Franchise, of course, on the far right when you guys have that camera view of them. Going back into it. 2-2 two to two right now, guys. And I got to say, Franchise talks a lot about LAN experience and how important it is. And a lot of these new Gears 3 players brush it off. But honestly, he is showing right now why being a veteran player and having LAN experience really pays off. Vex could probably arguably be considered the better team online. But Fury has been dominating this one so far. Very aggressive high side push right now from Vex. Meanwhile... Fury gonna take mid bridge control. They might do a swap of the map right here. I'm not sure if they know that yogurt is there. They have, I'm not sure if they do, to be honest. Yogurt is calling it out. Yeah, you can uh, hear it today. Like see, see him. Big fight about to go down. On board of yogurt here. And one versus two. He's gonna hold his ground here. Rookie Ooh. mistake there from yogurt. As he's gonna get taken out quick. Kenny gets down, but it's an easy revive for Fury. I don't Fury know. will be looking to lock up this round. I don't know if I would have stayed there. Oh, almost connects for head there as Excels takes his pistol out. Franchise did a good job staying alive. And now it's all up to Excels to make a play. That is it, Franchise, making it look easy. I'm trying to rotate back. Uh, and again, I'm going to go back to this. I'm not happy with Yogurt's position there. He was relying on uh, the snipes on each side to take out two, three people, basically. And he stayed his ground there on mid-bridge not to give up nades. He should have rotated back a lot sooner yep. uh, because he was fighting in a three-versus-one situation there. And, and instead of even trying to backslide, he slid towards them uh, and then got downed over, or uh, yeah. basically one shot over the uh, barricade right there. So. Know, they are down 2-0. I understand why Yogurt might feel like he has to do a lot to pick his team back up, but it doesn't necessarily mean making the wrong decision right there. Here we go, trick strap from Fury. Are they going to be flanking? Toy Soldier checks his back here. Meanwhile, he's going to rotate. Oh, Kenny's going to down dispense. Praise takes out Toy Soldier. Franchise takes out Yogurt, and it's all up to Excels in a one versus three, and Excels is going to get taken out, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Fury. Three O's. <laughs> Vex in this winner's bracket semifinals Unbelievable. match. Unbelievable. Who would have seen that coming? Praise going huge. Taking out Toy Soldier multiple times. He was basically Toy Soldier's scripted at it. Again, these teams have played time and time again. So I'm sure we've consistently, at least online, they've consistently been praised and Toy Soldier trying to battle it out. And right there, phenomenal performance. Enjoyed that gameplay. Praised, showing why he is arguably the best player in this game. Yes. I'm sure you guys are going nuts in the chat right now for him, but Fury advances to the winner's bracket finals. Vex is going to be going to the loser's bracket. Let's see what they can do. I guarantee they're going to be bouncing back. However, up next, guys, we're going to have Annex going up live against Swarm. Swarm. Another clash of the Titans there. Ooh. Swarm, formerly known as Glory. They've won two or three of the ESL Cups. Annex, considered formerly known as Throwdown, also considered a top team in this game. It's going to be a great one, guys. 2,000 people in here watching the stream. Thank you for being here, guys. My name is Fallout, joined here by Arctic. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. We will be right back with some more action for you guys in just a bit.